I knew at that moment <laughs> my main boy was back. So I've been wanting this character back since the beginning of Tekken 7. Uh, I co-mained Marduk in Tekken 5. Jack Marduk was my main team in Tekken Tag 2. Oh, again, down back two. Oh, down no. one. This could be it. This is okay, death. Drop it. This, this is, is it. death. That's it. Oh my god. What a fight. And everybody has just been telling me for years now, give up the dream, Joey. He's not coming back. And guess what? Get your cameras ready, folks. He's back. When they were doing the announcement at Global Finals, honestly, I had pretty much given up hope. I had no expectation of seeing Marduk. I'd been making do with Gigas, kind of, as a secondary. I was expecting Genryu or Julia. And the trailer dropped. They show this big car being overhead pressed. And they show this guy, and honestly, I didn't even recognize him. I didn't know what was happening. I look over at Tishuman. Yeah, screaming. Mother! And I knew at that moment my main boy was back. It was pretty exciting. Uh, I'm super hyped to have this character back. I think his strength, it rivals that of previous games, Tekken 5, Tekken 6, Tekken Tag 2. And that is a very good thing because this character is a monster. He always has been and all the things that made him so great, they appear to be completely intact. Uh, down three to start, 18 damage, low poke, only minus 12, hits grounded. Uh, this move alone is crazy right here, and he's also got down four, which remains unchanged from previous games. Takes a chunk of damage, uh, high crushes very quickly, tracks very well, launch punishable and block, but cannot be low parried. So these two lows working together, um, fantastic and his huge chunky mid pokes still intact as well so even just these fundamental tools uh, make him very dangerous his counter hit game is intact um, up forward three absolute devastation on counter hit down back two launches on counter hit uh, he's got this back three here that does insane damage on counter hit so his neutral game is still clearly uh, terrifying combined with the tackle uh, there's a lot to worry about here, just him being played quite fundamentally. Uh, his throw game, very scary. Um, he's got a 75 damage staple off of his 1 plus 2 command grab. Um, very versatile character. So this is all stuff on the offensive end and not on the defensive end. Uh, he still has his trap, unchickenable. Works on punches and kicks and will put them into the full mount for a mix-up. Um... And to continue on, he received buffs. Uh, down forward one, now 15 frames. Marduk has never been able to launch at 15 frames. So moves like Law, down two, three, had much lower risk against him. But this is quite unprecedented that a mid launcher like this, with this kind of range, that kind of tracking, um, only minus 12. I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked by this. It's it's really crazy. So uh, Marduk players should be very happy. I will say one of the challenges that appears to present itself with Marduk is his wall carry options. I think pretty much the instant you launch the opponent, you need to know exactly where the wall is and if you're going to go for it. And you need to know a lot of different wall carry routes. So this is one of the big challenges that I'm facing with the character right now. You need to know if you're going to utilize like VTS cancels, if you're gonna go into tailspin right away, if you're gonna do like a late tailspin with uh, down back three, one, one, one. Um, there's definitely some challenges here with this character, but I think in the long run, you're gonna see Marduk doing very well in the competitive world. Um, people who commit and learn uh, the nuances of this character, it's gonna be that's going to be a problem. So get in the lab, good luck, and uh, I'm coming for you.